has been a huge week. Mike and I talked about this a little bit yesterday. It's huge. Huge. Bass has been a, a, the industry standard for years. They put together this Elite Series, uh, I don't even know how many years ago, 10, 20 years ago. Who? Bass did. I don't know the, how long they've been put, the Elites have been on. It's been forever. I mean, they've been bass fishing since way before that. The yes. 70s and everything. They've right? had classics, all sorts of it. The, the, the main... And the main thing that Bass has over everybody else is they have Kevin Van Dam. They have Mike Iaconelli. They have the stars of the industry. The people that put, that when they support something, they sell product. In most cases. Yeah, and they have the brand. I mean, they started it. They're first, first on the moon, dude. Ray, uh, what is his name? Scott. Ray Scott started it years ago, and it's become the, the big... It's the elephant. It's what you try to, what you've had to try to emulate for years. Everybody wants to be on the Bass Elites. They only take a certain amount of people every year. A hundred and some people get to be on the Bass Elites. The Classic is the biggest fishing tournament in the world. They get hundreds of thousands of people that show up for the Classic. Yep. It's in. It's unbelievably impressive. And it's what everybody strives. It's the it's the it's the it's the major leagues, man. It's it is every guy that you talk to that fishes that and is a bass guy, and that's what they're all wanted to do. They grew up watching it. They get you know they grew up watching all these great guys, uh, you know guys that were their you know idols and heroes in the Rick bass Clons. fishing world. And uh, you know this is you know you're making it to the that's like making it to the major leagues it or is. NFL or anything like that. But that's the epitome of what Bassmaster Elite. It is and the classic and stuff like that and and no making the classics like hit, making the Super Bowl yeah it is and no offense to FLW because FLW has some great anglers Scott Martin John Cox uh, Andy Mon uh, Andy Morgan I think his name is there's a few guys on that trail Mark Rose that are studs oh yeah they get invited to come to the elites every year they just decline because the FLW series doesn't keep their hands into everything that you do compared to what Bass does. Now, the theory, the thing that Bass has has for years is, and it's been a, a knock against them, is they go to places and they you get a sponsor and Bass will, has at times went after the same sponsor as some of the guys that are fishing. Right. Look, we can do this for you. We can do this where the it cuts out the angler. Where really what happens is a lot of these guys... Get, are on the they make their money on their sponsors there's no doubt it's fifty five hundred dollars to go into a bass elite series right. it costs you fifty five hundred dollars to go there to get into it so during your year you're out sixty thousand dollars just in tournament fees so it's without expenses without expenses and and on a just being a just rough estimate it's probably eighty to ninety thousand dollars to be on the bass elites with hotels, gas, food, all the other things that you have to buy. What's the win on a regular tournament? A hundred, a hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand. So basically, you win one tournament, you break even for your year. Yes. So everything else, you got to try to make a check on. Exactly. Unless you have sponsors. Unless you have sponsors. The guys that do this don't. Some of these guys, a lot of them, don't make money for years. Right. It takes years they to make. A significant money and make and make money for your family right so when this news of this week came out that had been kind of hinted at ICAST this year and hinted to from us from other people this was absolutely groundbreaking news and the news is is Major League Fishing MLF uh, with the with the Association of Bass Pro Shops and the Outdoor Sportsman Group have announced that they are going to start their own Bass Pro League, Bass Pro Tour, excuse me, mm -hmm. BPT, Bass Pro Tournament Tour. And what they've done is they've went out and invited, at first when we heard about this, I don't even know how many weeks ago we heard about this, we had heard that they maybe MLF was just going to expand and they were going to have some more new tournaments and they might open it up to the public. Because the one thing that MLF has is if you don't know about MLF, they they don't tell you where they're going. They show up, they take a week, they fish, 
they have a different way rules on on, on they have on how they fish they catch photo release every fish right there on on the spot right and every fish counts that's there's a legal judge fish. on each one there's a camera on each boat but it also was a limited field they only had six or eight yeah they only had a hand you know maybe 15 guys at the max to start and then they start whittling down the field every every day and it's a you know uh, yeah is it every day that they fish or it's something? a daily a daily thing right. i was able to go to a, a whole week of mlf here in lake county and, the, and got to and see the, the ins chain, and out right? on the harris chain the ins and out the back end the front end the whole i saw everything no one i could say a joke there but i'm not joking <laughs> And it, it's an, an it's an impressive organization that and and what they're doing is really impressive. And what you want to know what that what to make things so that nobody knows what's going on when, with MLF, they have everyone come out at the end of the tournament and hold up the tournament trophy as if they've won, mm. so that anybody who was at the ramp the old, wouldn't know the old head shake. Yes, <laughs> the the same. It's the same guy that's doing the walk around with the the hurricane. Yeah. What well, that's what they do because they didn't want they they're making the the tournament into so a deceiving. fishing show. So yes. deceiving. And they've and so with this news of MLF creating this new tournament, at first everyone had thought that it was going to just they were going to open the field up to maybe forty people. Right. Come to find they out, they're just going to expand on what they already had going on because they have something good. Oh yeah, no doubt. The outdoor network. It, their highest rated show is the MLF shows, by far. It's good, good show. It is a good show. I enjoy it. It, it how they how it's a lot faster pace, everything. There's a lot of good things that MLF is doing that is good that is changing how fishing is done. How, sure. How tournament fishing is done. So when, what was it Wednesday? Did we hear this news? I think it was officially Wednesday. Wednesday they launched it. Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday they came out with the first e- uh, bla- not email blast and their first press release. Press release. I don't know. This must be the first press release because two came out yesterday, and they were just saying that they they were announcing significant expansion beginning at two in 2019, uh, with the goal of dramatically growth vis- uh, visibility and participation in the sport of fishing. MLF partnered with uh, Bass Pro Shops, and they were. Yeah, that's that's huge. Huge. Right there, I mean, they were partnering with Bass Pro Shops and the Outdoor Sportsman's Group. Both partners are supporting MLF and their commitments to the future of the sport. And then they announced it's going to be an 80 angler pro tour, pro tour, with eight tour events and a championship, with heightened payouts made possible through enthusiastic support from Bass Pro Shops and Outdoor Sportsman Group. That'll do it. So when this came out, then it was who's getting the invite and who isn't getting the invite. Now there's 80 uh, There's eighty people. And how is it going to work between and all the different tournaments and schedules? And there's always been a conflict. There's there always, always seems to be a conflict. That's why a lot of guys don't fish both tours and everything else. There's always, there was always a conflict. Now that MLF's throwing their hat in the ring, Everybody was saying, well, now who's going to go where and who's going to fish what? Because, you know, obviously at that point it was, you know, elites and yep. and, nobody, and FLW. Under, nobody understood the whole concept behind it. Yeah, and and years ago, two or three years ago, there were a lot of pros that were fishing FLW and Bass Pro. Right. And then what happened is two years ago, and this is just insider knowledge, I guess is the best way to put it. Bass had made an, a, a conscious effort to say, look, this is how we're going to – we're going to – we're gonna not not that they're not gonna allow you, but we're gonna make it really tough. Yeah, they're gonna for you to fish FLW and fish bass because you're gonna have to go from one side of the country to the other, which was the next problem the bass had. Or the scheduling would be so yeah, packed so that you wouldn't be able to do you, it. You couldn't do. It. So people had to make a decision. Some people stayed with the elites. Some people went with FLW. Now, then two years ago, and we're kind of all over the place. Two years ago, or a year ago, Bass decided that they wanted to go to the West Coast. Right. Now, when this West Coast trip started, when they started to make that thing, the first the first instance was, this is going to be great for Bass. It's going to expand Bass into this other area. The anglers completely hated it. Every angler that I've ever talked to didn't want to go. They would go over there, go to the West Coast, but what it was doing, it was keeping them on the road for three or four weeks for one tournament, right, where they're 
the money that they had to put into to get over to go west was now double or triple what they normally were paying to, to do this. If it was over here on Gunnersville, you know, they had maybe they'd spend fifty five hundred for the tournament and maybe twenty five hundred or thirty five hundred in, in stuff because you're there for a week, a week and a half. Right. Now you're going all the way across the country, and then you have to drive over there with your boat, and then get there early, pre fish, fish the tournament, then turn back around, and then rush back to another tournament that's a week and a half away. Right. It, it pissed off a lot of anglers. So when that happened, then as, as we go to this timeline, that happens. And then when they announced this year, they announced this West Coast, they're going to do another West Coast thing. And the anglers were completely, really pissed off about they it. They were going to do a leg of the tour. Wasn't there a couple tournaments out there, right? Yep. And, and the Delta and everything else? Yep. And they it just became... The fishing out there is fantastic, but... But it's just a lot of these guys live it's over It's predominantly here. Midwest and Eastern yes. United States where... So the bass, the bass guys have been fishing. Let's let's stop it there for a second. We have a break. We got to hit. Oh, we yeah. get back from the break. We're going to talk more about this MLF thing. It's a massive it deal. It gets more complicated. On. It does get more complicated. When we get back from the break, we'll talk more about this. This is Fishing Florida Radio presented by Yamaha. Major League Fishing, they came out with the news this week that they are starting their own Bass Pro Tour. Now, we started, we talked about the importance of how Bass was, and then out of, and you know, FLWs got their, their thing. So this week, MLF came out with their new Bass Pro Tour. And when it came out, everyone thought it was just going to be a small 30 or 40 people, and, th and then it came out, it's going to be 80 people. So then it was, Ken... Can you fish this new MLF tournament schedule, which is going to be eight and a championship? Right. Can you fish this and the Elite Series or the FLW? And my first instinct was, is there a possibility that, well, is there a possibility you could fish all three? Now, we talked we, when we left, we talked about the West Coast Swing. Right. So Bass announces that they're going to do another West Coast Swing, which instantly pisses off every elite angler. And then quickly they find out that there's not, because of this, they, it isn't that they, they just don't like it. That's the best way to put it. Bass decides they're going to backtrack. And now they're going to, now in the last few weeks, they're going to cancel the West Coast swing. They completely cancel that. Completely way. cancel it. And they need to look for two, a couple new tournaments. And they already had a, a tournament canceled. Yes, this year, which really hurt a lot of people. Yep. We talked to of, Bernie about it. Bernie was having upset. a bad year, and they were going to a place that he was very confident in. And he was sure that he would do well and get a check and so That's forth. That's what everybody says, but I know. So then they then they decide they they start canceling next year's the 2019 two tournaments that are West Coast Swing. And now that Bass is now looking for for a couple new places to go. Now what happens is, in the, if you this is the back end of it, most of these places get paid pay Bass to show up at their place, right? And what happens is they got to get hotel rooms and they got to do, there's a whole bunch of stuff that they have to put forth. And it's a, it is a significant amount of money. But what happens is, is that the anglers come and the fans come and then you make a lot of money. The classic for, is a perfect example. The classic might pay out $500,000 to bass to have it show up. But the amount of money that comes into the economy is tw 23 to $29 million. Right. So it's worth it. For these people what happens what happens when you cancel two tournaments and some of these tournaments they are worked two or three years ahead of time to, to plan for oh yeah time and money man yeah they've spent the money the money has been given Invested to them to doing this whole the money's thing been sent canceling? to them yeah, th then they cancel they got to give back the money they got to do all this other stuff and and at the same time they need to look at the schedule and find out where can we go you know there's tournaments on lakes every every week I find it very interesting. The optics and the opportunity that was taken by MLF to launch this PR and the whole announcement right at the, at the moment that Bass <laughs> is looking its weakest. <laughs> there couldn't have been a worse time for Bass for Bass for this to come out. Yeah, It was perfect timing. Yep. Well, they saw an opportunity and jumped on it. I'm assuming. I, I assume with you. 
So when this came out Wednesday, and it was something that was talked about at ICAST and was rumblings in the industry that this was happening, but not to the extent that MLF decided to jump off right, this. Right. So then they, they announced this thing, and then the onslaught starts happening very quickly. There's a ton of questions. Can you fish one or two of the tournaments together with MLF? Is there that possibility? Who's going to join MLF? Well, in the past... MLF has always been guys that fished the elite that were elites or FLW guys that fished in the MLF tournaments. So the first thought process is, well, who are these guys? You know, are they going to schedule this so that they can? It's a comparable. Is it the spring season? As if you know, uh, you know, like a football, and then you get you know you've got another league and they're yes. jumping from. So after the elites are done. Can and they, that gap, can they, you know, are they going to fill that gap? That was the questions going through my head. Yes. Is that what's going to happen? But then come to find out. Then then you find out that to fish, and w- w- before we get to that, MLF sends out 80 invitations. In the past, to be on MLF, you needed to pay your way to get onto it. Right. Because it was a new thing. It was thing. significant, too. It was a significant amount of money that you had to pay to get. And the guys that were on it. What it, it's an increased visibility for yourself because MLF it has so much time on the outdoor network and CBS and all these places that your sponsors are getting an excessive amount of time on the air. And a, gr- a new group of people are watching these tournaments that are not watching Bass. Right. Because Bass is a, a little bit slow and a little bit outdated. No offense to them. What they've done recently has been outdated. For what what's going on? The 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 fishing live stuff is wonderful. Yeah, I love it. That's been their attempt. To, That's been their attempt to, to, to fill the gap. Yes, but MLF decides that they're going to do this, and they send out eighty invitations to eighty of some of the best anglers, and then the real news happens. Either you fish with us, or you don't fish with us. It's it's us only. Right. So they they actually went for an exclusive. They went for an exclu- a three-year exclusivity, if that's a word. Sure. Makes sense to me. I hope so. It works in this. It, in this case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that you have a three-year, you have to fish with us for three years. Wow. There's no bass, there's no elite tournament. There's no FLW. Yeah. You, you do, you fish MLF, the Bass Pro Tour, or you... Or you fish the elites elites and and do what you want. Yeah. Now, when you start hearing this, now you start. Now, when this comes out, then now you're going, and this is, and and really, this is just things that we're hearing. It doesn't mean it's 100 percent, but this is what we're hearing from our friends that we know very well. Yeah. Then you start saying to yourself, "Whoa, this is this is a this is not this is a massive game. Excuse me, massive game changer." Yeah, because this is, this is a kill shot. This is this is a headshot to bass. No doubt. This, this is they're going for the kill shot. And when one person and there's one person in particular, when the greatest of all time decides he's going with MLF, the whole onslaught of people are behind now, it. Now, do we have confirmation 100% on this? I don't know 100%. I I should say that every picture, our and, sources, our sources, and not only that, every time they send out a press release, KVD's in the press release. Let me see that. Put that in the camera there. That is him. Now Johnny Morris, Johnny Morris, and the other thing is Boyd Duckett and Gary Klun, uh, Gary Klun came up with this years ago. Right. That there were the the mindsets on this. So Boyd is a very brain. good Boyd is a very good friend of the show. I texted Boyd on Wednesday afternoon and said, hey, congratulations, first and foremost. The fishing show, Fishing Florida Radio, is definitely behind you. We are very supportive and want to be able to cover what's going on. And his exact comments were, Steve, I'd love to come on the air with you, not this weekend, but maybe next weekend, and talk about the whole thing. Oh, yeah. But you should know that right now I'm trying to put forth 14 tournaments. Uh oh. They went from eight to fourteen? That's what I'm that's what I'm I'm putting together. Fourteen tournaments, and that we are 
unbelievably busy. What what came out was so that what blew does that us say? Up. What does that say to you? That says to me, we got all the guys we wanted. Thought they probably came in. Maybe we're not going to get everybody we want, and we'll have eight tournaments and build from there. And they ended up turning better than they thought they were going to do, and, and now they're going to go for fourteen. I think they're I think they're planning on two years of tournaments right now. And off if the you bat. get Kevin Van Dam on a three year exclusive, I mean, that is. That's a huge hit to Bass. So, so in talk, I mean, let's let's be honest. He's the you know he's the Michael Jordan of of fishing. I he mean, is he the is, Michael Jordan of fishing. There's no doubt about it. He is. Now wait, you can. I mean, there's a lot of stud fishermen out there, but he, nobody's the how nobody's got the star power power that Kevin Van Dam is. I mean, you go to. You I know, go someplace you like go to you a said supermarket. to me. Yeah, it's people say you, what you, you said to me this to, you morning. Know, Joe Schmo, you know, soccer dad. That's teammates, you know, with their, your kid, and and oh yeah, I love fishing this and that, and you can name a bunch of guys, and they're gonna they're not gonna recognize any of them, but they'll say you say Kevin Van Dam, oh yeah, that's the professional bass fisherman. Yeah, when people talk to me and they say they say oh I lo- I I really enjoy fishing, and I tell them you know we do interviews with all these guys, and and I say I've I've went out with anyone, and they're like man, wouldn't it be great to go fishing with Kevin Van Dam? Right, I've done it. Yeah, that guy catches fish out of a boot. Yes, I mean come on. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's seen that commercial. Kevin Van Dam is the greatest fish, one of the greatest fishermen of all time, and he's got he's got the juice. I mean, he's, he has the juice. Yeah. So when Kevin Van Dam decides he's going to go with MLF, the floodgates open, and by floodgates, I have written down a group of people. Oh, this was this was my next question. I was going to okay. was popping into my head. I wanted to know now who who. This is the intriguing part to me. I was like, all right, when I heard about the exclusive, I said, who are the biggest fish in the bass fishing world, guys, fishermen, that you would go after and say, listen, I need to, I'm going to try to get these guys or all the stars. If I can get all these guys to align and come in, I mean, it's, it's, it'll be a complete game changer. So I was trying to think. Name moves, a few. Who moves the needle? Name a few, and I will just I'm say. Gonna, well, what? Kevin Van Dam obviously moves the needle. Gone. He's at MLS. We just, we just established that. Mike Iaconelli. He is gone. I would say. Amazing. All right. MLF. So Mike Iaconelli is probably one of the second most known guys. Yes. Even just if it wasn't by name, it's just the guy that does the backspins on the boat and screams and all Crazy. that. Crazy. Crazy. Right. Uh, Skeet Reese, I would imagine. Gone. Mm. Uh, Swindle would probably be because of his comedic things. He's he's probably one of the biggest I didn't guys. ask about him. I should have. I didn't. But I would, just, I would assume he's gone too. Lately would be the Lee brothers because of their success in the classic. Not sure about the Lee brothers. Interesting. Not sure about the Lee brothers. Uh, Shaw Grigsby. Gone. Legend. Gone. Really? He had a problem with Bass as is. Yeah, well. And he really enjoyed the MLF. Really I, I, enjoys I, I, MLF. Good friend of ours. Yes. Man. Who else would be a, a good needle? So I thought Aaron Martins. Aaron Martins, of course. Gone. He's, he's on the MLF. A couple people that I really enjoy. Edwin Evers. Oh, gone. Yeah, he is, he's won the MLF several times. Stud. Greg Hackney. Good good dude. Great angler. Great, great guy. Gone. Wow. Um, Gary Klein. Ish Monroe. Kelly Jordan. Mark Davis. Boyd Duckett. Alton Jones. Otto Foe. Justin Otto Foe. Lucas. Brandon Palinick. Palinick, yeah. Jacob Prosnick. Mm, man. Gone. Wow. What this has done is it has put now so they corner they corner the, the they've cornered the angler market they've, for the for the stars. They've taken the stars away from bass. Now what has happened is MLF is now the no and no offense to FLW cuz I talked to John Cox about this. Now I should say they opened up and We have a guy asking is John Cox has they did he jump did he go? He has not jumped. He's not going Someone asked that? Yep, somebody asked that. Okay. No, John. I talked to John. He uh, he has not. He is sta- Right now he's staying with FLW. Okay. Now they invited a bunch of people from FLW. I know a few that declined. Uh, Scott Martin declined. Right. Mark Rose, Andy Morgan, they all declined to go to the new tournament. Interesting. But what it's done is it now has put MLF as... The top guys in the fishing industry, and they haven't even had a real tur- well. They've had tournaments, but they're this new tournament is now make them the number one with FLW being number two, 
And now Bass is number three. Drops to the bottom. Now think here's and I'm gonna leave this. And it's a three year exclusive. So I mean they've got the market for three years. Exactly. We don't know how many FL di- FL guys are coming over Leo as of yet. There will be some that are coming out. And what's going to happen is they're invited 80. If people decline, then they're going to move out and ask other people. I, I Of all things, I thought well, our friend, and I'm not sure he got the invite, I, I texted Brandon about this yesterday, and he did not reply to me. Mm-hmm. So I was like, either he got an invite or he didn't get an invite and doesn't want us to know. Mm. But the people that, are, that decline, then they're going to open it up to other people to make this 80 field. I really think they should keep it to about 50 and make it the best 50 anglers every every tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Make it a classic type style everything. Now it's what this has done is you want to know what and and I and I'm going to steal this from I have to, we got to hit a break here. I'm going to steal this from Ken Duke. Ken Duke says the Bass uh opens are going to be more competitive now than the Bass elites. Mm. And that's scary. And the other thing was he said, oops, I hit something over here. He says, when you call Bass, it says, thanks for calling Bass. If you have 50000 and can tie a Palomar knot, welcome to the 2019 <laughs> Bassman Release Series. You stole that from who? <laughs> Ken Duke. Oh. I did send it. I told him I was going to steal it, and I Damn gave him it, credit. Dude. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, we got to hit a break. We're oh, going to talk Ken. more about them. Watching Florida Radio presented by Yamaha. Good morning, Wade. Good morning, Paul. Okay, we've been talking about MLF because it's huge news this week. Huge news. I mean, like like Game Changer. We've been talking no about doubt, during man. the break, too. A lot of stuff. We, and a they, lot of things we've been told. They cornered all the big guys. They did corner all they the big guys. Three years, excuse me. Three years. And what it's done is now it's taken, it's taken and putting bass at... Almost a third or fourth level because I mean, we've had. You think uh, it drops that far down all the way to the bottom? Unfortunately, I think it drops below FLW. I think they were so far above FLW before because of the likes of Kevin Van Dam, Ike and Ellie, Skeet Reese, all the big name guys, and nothing against them because I think now this three exclusive. Does that count on the classic? It does. Well, I guess if you're not fishing the elite, you can't make qualify for the classic. Which is the really craziest thing because the classic is the biggest event of all times. And they're, but they're putting their own little classics. They are going to together, put, right? They are putting together a well, classic that might be type even a thing. bigger purse. Yes, but what it's done is, and the classic's been dropping though, like as far as uh, winning, right? Like winning half a million. At it some was point, half a million. And then it's three hundred fifty thousand thousand, and still a lot of money. No, oh, yeah, but w- but what it's done is, and and in some of the cases, I think for like some of our friends that are in that second tier of of anglers, they're not not that they're horrible anglers i mean going to fish with brandon card is unbelievably was unbelievably experience it was a beautiful experience learning what he taught me that day beautiful beautiful experience well these guys are the elites i mean they are you don't make the elites unless you're a really damn good angler but what it does is it you know it will uh it'll give some of these guys a, a new opportunity to to succeed i was wondering that in this now here's the other thing, guys that are cusp guys, or if or, you're on that that twenty thirty, like uh, here's a perfect make, person. Now you're a bigger fish in a smaller pond. I don't know if Randy Howell's going to MLF. I don't know. Randy Howell is in the in that verge. He's a great angler, won the classic, but doesn't really win the tournament events. Always seems to do very well, but doesn't win them. He won that classic. He won the classic. So <laughs> take away that for just a second. But what it does is now, if he doesn't go to MLF, he is now at the top of the list of, of bass. He is a, a former classic winner. He's done the, the Elite Series forever. He is unbelievable. Brent Chapman, another one, had another great year. But, <coughs> excuse me, it puts them in another level now. And now I think you have it, Schultz in there. Is Bernie? Did you, does Bernie? Do you know where Bernie's at? Uh, I do. Bernie is right now staying with Bass. Okay, and understandable. I like this. I like this idea for Bernie. To be honest, yeah. So, uh, 
and that you want know, he by all means he could move over to MLF. I don't know. That's I would that's with not the name, on, but that's not on my. It isn't on my list. I didn't ask that okay. one. Um, but there's you get those people that are on that cusp. Now they stay with Bass. Now they're at that that next level, and you know Bass has has all that backing behind them. They've been they've done very good on promoting their anglers to make the anglers the most almost the most important thing. What MLF? That's the problem with FLW. I think FLW doesn't put enough support behind the anglers and doesn't lift them up to that higher level and and that's what MLF is going to do they've got the the best of the best and now they've that now they're they're they have the best tournament more money more everything well yeah they got the the bass pro power bass pro behind you so that gives you the capital you need yes and then he's they got the star power so what you're saying is before bass and M- FLW they're they were promoting more building the tournaments as as the the limelight set of the anglers in the tournament. I think that's MLF what FL is does. now going to start to build these stars. They're going to take them and actually start to invest in their stardom, making them even bigger, more of a more of a player in the. Yes, uh, I think that I think thing, Bass has done that in the in the past. I think Bast has done a very good job. That I don't think FLW does it at all. I mean, right. to be honest, and and I love all the guys at FLW. I love I I think John Cox is one of the best anglers on the planet. But John can do well in a tournament, and I don't hear about it for two or three weeks after the tournament and has ended. Right. There's no press releases. They're they're not media savvy. Right. Where I have to go out and look for it. Mm-hmm. When Bass something happens on Bass, I get four or five emails the exact day. 20 or 30 minutes after the tournament happens. I can tell you who won and who's where 20 minutes after that tournament happens, where FLW doesn't do that. And, and MF, M, hopefully MLF will do this. But the, the thing is that now the pro, the one problem that we have is MLF is going to have these tournaments that they're making specifically for the television. So we're not going to know who does what or we're not allowed to – the problem with ML, the other problem with MLF is we can talk to these guys – but they can't tell us how they did in the tournaments. Just like the week I spent at MLF, I couldn't talk about for six months on air. So you, yeah, you can't talk about it till it actually airs. Yes, which right. is really takes some of the fun out of it. I want it when there's a fishing tournament. Yeah, you lose the freshness of hey, the you know the win and the big yes. you know, all the drama. All I mean, the, they're saving it all for their production. It is, and that's the one the one issue I have with MLF. Right. Again, it's not the tournament; it's the production. It's the production because really, where it so comes down to these guys, these guys are going to be billed as you know uh, TV stars. Stars, yeah, they're yes. going to be characters, you know, of, of the you know reality TV show yes. that is MLF, and you know the personalities are definitely there, you know. Yeah. So they've definitely cornered a lot of great personalities that they could build. Yep. And and the, the, there's other things that happen behind this. Do some of does Dave Mercer go with them? Does Mark Zona go with them? Oh. Where does Tommy Sanders go? Where do these guys go? Now I don't think Zona goes. I don't think Mercer goes. That's does MLF me. need them? Do they have? Do they don't they don't need hype people? You know they're 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 TV guys. They need yeah. guys that are going to be able to do production TV. Yeah, not live commentators like a you know live sporting event. Yes. So this news this week has been astronomical for so the, the question, industry question is i know you said you've moved bass down the tier does this kill bass yes with everything that's been going on the cancellations the the money problems look at what's happened left is this the kill bass shot? has sold has been sold four times three or four times in the last 10 years right 10 I mean, or 12 they, years they were owned by espn yes well, couldn't Disney. make it work and Disney. And they couldn't make it work. Everything that Disney touches is gold. Yeah, they I mean if you can't get they can't get you over the line. But they didn't know how they didn't know what they had. Right. That, well, That's the other thing. With now we've got people that know exactly you can say whatever you want about Boy Duckett. Boy Duckett is a genius for fishing. He is I've heard numerous people tell me he's the smartest man in fishing. Numerous right. people tell me that. And when you sit down and talk to Boyd, I talked to Boyd for 20 or 30 minutes at the Classic a couple of years ago. He and he was outside uh, with his daughter and his wife. And he and I just sat and talked and talked and talked. And afterwards I thought, oh, my God, I'm, I'm really dumb. <laughs> the, he, is a, he speaks well. He, he's thought out. 
He's he really is a smart man. He's got a good business mind, no good, doubt about great it. Great business mind. And he's a great he's a good very good angler. So there's a lot this this whole thing, I mean, really, I, I if I could I could talk about this for three hours to be honest. Yeah. Because there was so much that has that that little intricate details on how this is gonna work that we still don't know how it's gonna work. Right. Who is going, who's not going. Uh the people who stay how does it influence them? The people that are that uh, are moving from FLW to the the MLF thing, and how much is that going to hurt? I mean, who's going to who may who will not tune into bass to watch bass fishing? I mean, without do, those, those, do guys? we need to go to the classic next year? I mean, are they going to go and say, hey, you know, they're not going to go to see? I mean, guys go and line up at the classic expos to see Van Dam and Iconelli and all these other guys. If they're not there, they're not in the expo. They're not in the tournament. I mean, the guys, I mean, that's just going to plummet of, the th- classic. Think about for us. I mean, that's completely gutting. For us, it, it even it really even hurts us. And I wonder how that, that triggers the sponsors now. Now, that's the other thing. We haven't even talked about sponsorship. Like these guys that have independent sponsors. Yes. How they, how, these guys are going to go along with them. I mean. We'll talk about this again more this next week. I, I know that hopefully this the guys are insanity. downstairs. Uh, the Team Fish in Florida is downstairs. We'll see. Uh, hopefully, well, hopefully we'll get Boyd on and yeah. get a bunch of these things answered. Good luck to your daughter today. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being in here. Uh, we get, we got a break here. When we get back from the break, uh, it'll be just me for a little bit. Hopefully the guys are downstairs. If not, I'm going to talk about it on my left. Talk about it. And I'll take call some in. calls. So this is Fish and Florida Radio. <laughs> we'll see you after these brief words from our sponsors. <laughs> 